हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर आनो सिडाना ऑब्सटेशन गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट आस्था मेडिकल गुड़गांव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक यू अवेयर अबाउट पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम व्हाट इज पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम बेसिकली इट इज अफेक्टिंग ऑल इट इज अ हार्मोनल डिसऑर्डर विच अफेक्ट्स ऑल द वुमेन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम अडोलसन टिल द मिनोपॉज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पी सी ओ डी एंड पॉलिसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम बेसिकली पी सी ओ डी इज अल्ट्रासाउंड फाइनिंग and when the uh, hormonal disturbances are present in the body it present clinically in the patient then we label the patient as polycystic ovarian syndrome what is the main cause behind polycystic ovarian syndrome it is not exactly known till now but most common is the sedentary lifestyle secondly it could be because of stress and in 1 to 3% of the patient it is mainly because of the genetics that it that it runs in families so how we diagnose the patient patient come to us with clinical symptoms as delayed cycle periods coming at the gap of more than 35 days or patient is having less than 9 periods a year then secondly weight gain third it may lead to acne or hair growth patient may present with all the symptoms all together or may present with one symptom only then on the ultrasound we get the findings of polycystic ovaries we diagnose the patient as polycystic ovarian syndrome on the help with the help of clinical as well as biochemical test now what is the main pathology behind uh, polycystic ovary syndrome it is basically eggs are being formed in the ovary but none of them is getting mature enough to get ruptured so it leads to formation of water filled cyst within the ovary leading to polycystic appearance so what happens if patient ignore the symptoms if patient doesn't treat if we don't treat the patient in time in the long run as the ovulation is not effective patient may have difficulty in conception and it leads to infertility and because of the hormonal imbalance because of polycystic ovaries what happens it leads to rise in male type of hormones and decrease in female type of hormones as a result there is uh, metabolic uh, changes which leads to changes in the lipid profile and patient becomes at a risk of diabetes as well as cardiac problem and in the long run abnormal uterine bleeding and patient also has a increased risk of uterine cancer so how to treat the patient before starting the treatment foremost thing to be done is the counseling of the patient regarding lifestyle modification which includes exercise any kind of exercise for at least 30 to 45 minutes either it is brisk walking yoga dance whatever suits the patient to be started second is the weight management weight should be maintained according to the bmi so if there is less content of the fat in the body lesser changes because of the polycystic ovaries and lesser complications because of the pcos then what kind of treatment we have available we have only two kind of treatment either we stress the ovaries or either we stimulate or we stimulate the ovary why if patient want to conceive we stimulate the ovary so that effective eggs are being formed there is ovulation and patient conceives and if patient doesn't want to conceive as she is unmarried then we stress the ovaries with the help of contraceptive pills and we have various hormonal therapies to regularize her cycle and according to her symptoms like hair growth and acne we treat the patient accordingly so take home messages maintain a healthy diet maintain your weight as well as be active to avoid the complication of polycystic ovarian syndrome thank you